Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. So, today's topic is most important. You know why? Today I am going to teach you how a laptop motherboard will function. So this basic knowledge you should have, then only you can repair it, okay. For that reason, I am introducing this chapter, okay. Let us see how it is very important. Generally, this is the charger, this is the charger input, okay. Here we will give the supply to motherboard. What it will do? It accepts inputs through keyboard. Okay? Understood what I am telling? It accepts input. What are the data required? It accepts through input keyboard. It will process through this CPU and gives output through the display output display devices. Here is the connection, I uh, did not connect to display. So, this is the output section. Once again, first we need to connect the charger. Second thing is, this is the input. Third thing is, it processes it and output display. Okay. Now, I will write one by one. Number one, voltage. Okay. Number 2, input. Number 3, process. Number 4, output. This is the basic functions. Right. What we done, we give, given, we have given the input voltage, then we uh, given the input data and it will process it and it gives the output result. Here it is over. First point. Okay. Next, I will come to the second point. First one is voltage. Adapter I will take. See, in this adapter, here it is mentioned what is that? Output is 20 volts and current is 3.25 volts, amps, sorry. Voltage is 20 volts and current is 3.25 amps. See, in basic electronic chapters, I already mentioned, I already explained you what is the current and what is the voltage and what are the importance of this. In any electronic circuit, current is must and should right that means flow of electrons if electrons flow through electronic device then it gives appropriate outputs and connects to the positive means here Motherboard is an electronic device, okay. It contains electronic components, it accepts inputs data, processes it through the CPU and gives the output. Okay. I told you this is an electronic component, accepts input voltage, this is a plus and this is a minus. Okay. Here is the load motherboard the load 
ओके इट फंक्शंस एंड इट कनेक्ट्स टू द नेगेटिव टर्मिनल मींस फ्लो ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विल फ्लो यर सॉरी यर इट वर्क्स एंड कनेक्ट्स टू द पॉजिटिव दैट्स इट व्हाट द रिजल्ट मदरबोर्ड व्हाट इट हैज टू डू ऑल द थिंग्स इट विल डू एंड इट गिव्स द आउटपुट ओके दिस इज सिंपल लॉजिक basically it requires voltage and current okay this is the point first point you have to keep it in your mind hmm? voltage and current is required to the motherboard to process it and gives the appropriate output okay this is called complete circuit so second point over so i will explain in third point See, here is the input. What I told, it accepts 20 volts. But here are some electronic components. See, 20 volts goes to the motherboard. What are the components? Major components. I am telling you. This is the processor. Processor. Okay. And. This side is a controller, I/O controller. Okay, <clears throat> I'll take only two examples here, two ICs, and all sub ICs will be there. IC, and it gives the output. See, in third step, I am going to tell you the 20 volts is going to the motherboard, but inside many components, many electronic components are there that converts the voltage 20 volts into particular voltages. What it requires? Some ICs required 3.3 volts, some ICs required 5 volts, some ICs required 1.5 volts, some ICs required 1.2 volts. from so ic records 1.8 so on it converts processes it and gives the output understood input through the keyboard processes it and gives the output this is very important point in first point the flow of electrons goes from negative to positive through the load it works okay this simple way second simple way 20 volts we have to give as input inside the motherboard so many electronic components are there that will convert this 20 volts to appropriate volts ac or dc whatever it may be and gives the appropriate result this is third point okay number fourth this may be boring section but it's very important okay you must understand in case this particular voltage if it won't converts then motherboard will be very thin or very small but but we supposed to give multiple voltages through adapters like this we supposed to use multiple is it possible it's possible but in generally it consumes more space and more component more charges okay so to avoid that inside the motherboard using some electronic components using logic circuits we can convert these 20 volts into particular voltages and it will be using for particular functions okay that process has done inside the motherboard see for example 
20 volts input right but inside the motherboard number 1 3.3 volts required for controller okay 1.2 or 3.5 1.35 or 1.5 or 1.8 volts for memory okay processor including chip pch i'm telling this required what 1.2 2.5 3.3 1 volts, 1.8 volts, so on. In practically many volts, for many volts we can't use the adapter for each and every voltages. So that's the reason in the motherboard particular section, particular section will convert this particular voltages and gives appropriate output through the coil ok this fourth point clearly I am telling you motherboard required particular voltages that voltages creates voltages creates through electronic active and, active and positive components and gives output through the coils see here this is the coil big big coils here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Understood? These coils are used as a output voltages. Now I am going to write one more step here. Maybe fifth point. Point our steps. here 20 volts input goes to motherboard coils 1 2 here how many are there in this motherboard so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 coils 6 outputs are there okay Six outputs. For example, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 1.3 volts, 35 volts, 2.5 volts, 0 0.8 volts, 1.3 volts. Just assumption. It will convert, and the particular voltages. CPU requires that particular section will pass to the CPU or controller IC. Okay, and then finally it processes it and gives the output. Understood? So here through input we will give a uh, input data what it will do this process has to work but it won't work through the 20 volts so then it required particular voltages that particular voltages will convert the particular sections circuits particular circuits coil circuits then it goes to the voltage to required voltage to cpu and it processes it and gives the output understood this is fifth point 20 volts will convert into particular voltages and gives to the cpu or pch or io and it functions and gives the output